In this video, we're going to take a look at Patroni. So how does Patroni work? Patroni is a bot that is written in Python. It runs on every Postgres node. In this case, uh, we have three nodes, node A, node B, node C. Node A is the primary and uh, Patroni runs on all the three of the Postgres nodes. And uh, Patroni relies heavily on uh, DCS like etcd, zookeeper or hashicorp console. In this case, we are using etcd. So etcd is nothing but a key value store. Uh, there are several keys stored and one of them is a leader key. So the leader key points to the primary. Uh, in this case, uh, the primary is node A. And uh, every 10 seconds, uh, there is a variable called loop weight, which is set to 10 seconds by default. So every 10 seconds, the primary node updates the leader key. So let's say the primary node fails to update the leader key. Uh, let's say the primary node is down and it's not able to update the leader key. So once the TTL of 30 seconds hits, the leader key expires and the new leader election process kicks off. By default, TTL is again set to 30 seconds. So in this case, uh, we can see that the cluster is healthy and then the node A is uh, updating its leader key every 10 seconds or the loop weight, uh, whatever it is set to. And then the node B and node C are replicas are watching the leader key. What happens when the node is down? The primary node is down. In this case, uh, uh, the primary node is down. And then uh, after some time, the TTL expires after hitting the 30 second limit and then once the TTL is uh, expired the etcd is going to send a expiration notification so once that is sent by uh, etcd um, so several things happen in the background for example uh, each of the postgres node checks the status of other nodes using the rest api and also the wall position is checked for for example, one of the replica has zero lag, but the other replica has some amount of replication lag. The replica with zero lag is chosen as the leader. So several things happen there in the background. And then uh, basically both of them uh, participate in the leader race here, node B and node C. And, uh, but only one succeeds. Uh, in this case, node C succeeds and it acquires the leader key. So after that, the promotion po uh, pr promotion happens and then uh, uh, the replication continues. Uh, node C becomes primary now, and then the node B points to the new primary. So this is what happens uh, internally uh, when a node fails. Uh, there are more steps than this, but uh, we gave a high level overview of what happens uh, internally with the uh, Patroni. We're going to look at two failure scenarios. Scenario one is a uh, primary being down. We will mimic a node failure scenario. We have three nodes, node A, node B, node C. Node A is the primary and node B and node C are replicas. In this case, both node B and node C has the same wall position. So node B, node C, none of them has any replication lag during the failover. And one of the node will be elected as leader. Once node A fails, either B or C, whoever acquires the leader key first, will be elected as the leader. Once the TTL of 30 seconds is hit. So let's go ahead and run that scenario now. So to begin with, uh, this is the cluster topology. This is the leader node and these two are the replica nodes. Also, I'm running this command, which is going to watch the leader key. You can see that uh, this is the node that is leader as seen in the list output, the node one is the leader. And 
one thing to observe is the TTL, right? So it keeps decreasing all the way from 30. It keeps decreasing, decreasing. And again, as soon as it hit 20, around 20, it again went to 30. What does that mean? So as discussed before, there is loop wait, which is 10 seconds by default. So the leader node is updating its leader key every 10 seconds. As you can see, it is uh, decreasing from 30 and as soon as it hits around 20, it again goes back to 30. So every 10 seconds, the leader node is updating the leader key. So that is proven by this, right? And then the leader is this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to trigger a failure of this node. So we triggered a failure. Now we can see that it's decreasing. You can see that it's going down, down. As soon as zero, it reaches zero. That means the leader key is expired and the leader election starts. So let's wait for it to reach zero. Still the node one is the primary. And after some time, I expect it to change. Three, one, zero, go. Now you can see that node three acquired the leader key. And then uh, again, the same 10 second cycle continues. The Now the node 3 is updating its leader key every 10 seconds. So you can use a command like this to keep a watch on the leader key and the TTL. And now if we go back, if you show you the same command, Previously, this one was the leader, as you can see, and now it switched to node 3 as the leader because uh, this one is down. So now node 3 is a leader and node 2 is the follower or replica. So this is scenario 1. Uh, we're going to look at another scenario. First, I'm going to check the topology using the list operation. Currently this node is the leader. Node 2 is the leader and I want to promote one of the replicas as new leader. Let's say there is a planned maintenance and you want to promote one of these as new leader. You can do that using the switch over option. It's going to ask you to confirm the current primary. As you can see, the current primary is this one. So node two, and then I'll just confirm it. And then uh, it's going to ask you to choose a candidate for the switchover. I'm going to pick node one, which is this one, currently replica. And uh, one good thing is it also is going to ask if you want to do it now versus at a planned uh, scheduled time. I'm going to choose now. And finally, why? So let's run the list again. You can see that uh, node 1 is the leader now. Previously node 2 was the leader and we did a switch over and uh, we made uh, node 1 as the leader now. So these are the two scenarios uh, I wanted to talk in this video. Next we are going to look at some etcd commands. We have seen uh, two Patroni scenarios. Now let us take a look at few etcd commands. So the first one is getting the leader key value. Currently it is set to node one. So this is the command we ran etcd ctl get then the key name. Let us try a few more commands. How about this command uh, which is uh, getting the config right. You can see ttl 
is set to 30 seconds, loop wait is set to 10 seconds, retry timeout is 10 seconds and so on. So it returns all the config values. How about the history? So the history returns all the events that happened uh, in the past, uh, the failover or switch over events. And uh, you can also read the key value for uh, numbers. For example, in this case, I want to read the value for uh, node 2 and it returns the connection URL for that node, API URL. And also the role is replica. As you can see, this node is a replica. So these are some of the etcd commands that you can run to check the uh, values for your keys.